really drawn to Ayurveda as a healing modality because I had a lot of stress in my life. And I knew that, you know, there's a lot of modalities out there, but I feel like Ayurveda really helps calm the nervous system. And so I was looking for something that would get to the root of what I was experiencing rather than treating the outward symptoms. And I feel like that's exactly what I ended up needing because it did really help improve the quality of my nervous system. So that's sort of what draw me, drew me to the modality. So I first heard about Ayurveda from a friend who lived in India um, for a couple of years. Uh, and that sounded very interesting. So I did some research and I loved the idea that uh, in Ayurveda, food and basically your life is your medicine. That, that sounded very appealing to me. Uh, and I got very interested and that's how I found Hillary. So very specifically, I have struggled with acne in all of my 20s, um, and I've tried a lot of different things to combat it. Um, and I was recommended to go to Accutane, which is pretty intense um, prescription medicine to take. And I really wanted to uh, do something more holistic and something that would um, really look at how my lifestyle was, how, what choices I was making in my lifestyle. Um, and I just kind of found Hillary, actually she threw a recommendation of a, a dear friend that she had helped um, tremendously. And uh, so I, I came to Hillary to see what we could do. And, and it was a fantastic experience. I began Ayurvedic treatment with Hillary. I really, I was working in a very stressful job and my goals really were to find more balance in my life and really get to the root of why I was experiencing stress and anxiety and solving those issues from a holistic place and a sustainable place. So those were that was really what I was looking for initially when I was starting to work with Hillary. First time that I came to Hillary was a year and a half ago. Uh, and I was feeling uh, kind of tired in general, low on um, energy. And uh, she recommended some food uh, choices and, and, you know, a change in lifestyle. Uh, I then um, kind of drifted off. And then I came back again this year. Um, and I had uh, a similar request. Um, I have three kids, three boys. And during the last year, it was kind of tough. I had to spend a lot of time with them and I was feeling burned out. And I had a chance to take care of myself, take care of my body. I felt that I owed it to my body because for the past eight and a half years, I was just taking it for granted and it was doing what I wanted it to do. And I felt like this was the time to give back. Um, and my kids are away, they're spending time with their grandparents. So I thought it would be um, a good time uh, to, to just take care of myself. And I did uh, Panchakarma with Hillary, which was amazing. <laughs> and I, I feel so much better. It's wonderful. Hillary is wonderful. So I saw Hillary for, I believe it was three to four months. Um, and Hillary made me feel very comfortable to talk about really where, where I was, um, to, to share, um, to share exactly how I was in my journey. Um, and very much created a, a very quickly a, a safe space where um, I didn't feel like, I think sometimes, I don't know, I, when I go to the doctor, sometimes I feel a need to be like, oh, I'm doing everything great. This is, you know, I'm, I'm doing everything perfectly. Everything's good. But with, with Hillary, um, I didn't feel any judgment or need to do exactly um, exactly what was recommended because if if I couldn't get the recommendation exactly right 
then there was some conversation and 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 trust that this is a process. It's not flipping a light switch. We're not um, going to magically make everything everything better. But this is you know how awesome is it that this is a life practice that we get to walk on, and how cool is it that we get to employ a guide to help us walk through this and, and someone who, who provides that, that space and support. Um, so, or her, so yeah, Hillary's demeanor is, is absolutely um, kind, welcoming, real, um, very, very safe, very supportive, um, very wise, very, uh, you know, the recommendations that she, provided throughout our interactions and and still now I think about a year later um, to still be in touch with Hillary is um, it feels very very good and you... it was so funny the first time that I entered her office and I saw her and I thought to myself okay I'm buying this I want to be like her <laughs> She's just so sweet and she's radiating this energy that even if you're not doing anything, you feel like I'm healing just being here. And I think it's so important that, you know, when you go to see a specialist, a doctor, that, that you see that person and they look like it's working. <laughs> um so it's it's great she's very sweet but again very detail oriented so the whole process is just it's pleasure <laughs> i've been seeing hillary for about four to five years now she's definitely one of those healers that's just in my back pocket and I, I know that I can go to her when things arise but i typically like to see her about four times a year for the abiyanga um what I love about Hillary in terms of her demeanor is that she's just very open and gentle, but she also has this fierce feminine side where she really empowers you to be the best version of yourself that you can at the same time, you know, not going over the top, but just she has that nice balance of gentleness and feminine fierceness. And um, she really empowers you to be the best version of yourself and really puts the healing back into your hands and into your own accountability for your health. And I, and I, I still implement um, a ton of the recommendations that she provided today. Um, or yeah, I still use them today. So let's see, some of the things that uh, I still am, am super uh, uh, religious on, I guess, for, for my uh, habits, um, paying attention to my my bedtime routine, uh, not having coffee anymore, which has actually been a really, really great thing. It's really reduced my anxiety and really helped my sleep. Um, uh, the ginger pickle I love, the salt water before, um, before showering, um, face masks, and paying attention to the food that and how it feels and what the consistency is and the temperature is and um, what my digestion is like. Those are some practices that that Hillary really helped me explore, unlock, and continue to use in, in practice in my life. I'm drinking the, the CCF tea. I've, I've cut out caffeine. Um, the uh, yoga practices and physical practices um, of, and just little, little doses, things that take one or two minutes, those little baby rituals um, have really helped uh, define my mornings, my, my food intake, paying attention, listening to my body, um, being able to sleep better, to wake up with energy, something I didn't think I, I could do, and, and to have more tastes of what that's like um, was fantastic. I also, something that also really stuck with me, um, uh, Hillary taught me about uh, Ojas, Ojas um, which is the, the vigor of life, the juices of life. And there was a point where I went on vacation and was worried that I 
wasn't totally sticking to this new, new habits that I was trying to form. And um, Hillary really had a, we had a great conversation and interaction about um, the, have just having love in your life and going going on vacation being surrounded by family maybe you do have that you know piece of pizza and bowl of ice cream and there is absolutely that is a wonderful thing to do that that if that is what cushions you with the love with the juices of of good feelings that that is that counts and that that helps build your body um your body feels that and it is a physical thing that that allows you to build up love uh that you can kind of tap into when you need um and that's something that's definitely stuck with me the nuggets of wisdom i've gained from hillary i, I use on a daily basis and when I forget, I can contact her and she'll remind me. Um, but yes, I think because of seeing her, I've really gotten a much better handle on how to keep my nervous system uh, in tip top shape and really um, helping myself just to continue to do the things that I know from my lifestyle that will keep it that way, keep, my, keep myself as healthy as possible. Stands out again about Hillary is that piece of her really understanding, you know, using the ancient principles of Ayurveda with modern life and understanding that we can still live in our modern world and still be healthy. She really helps you to make it accessible in a way that is sustainable because what, you know, if you're working on your health and it's not something that's sustainable and you feel overwhelmed, it's really hard to keep implementing the practices. So I think he has a really beautiful way of making it accessible in the modern world. Um, so I think that that definitely is something that makes her unique. And I think including that piece about trauma in a way where you can talk about it with her, where she makes you feel really comfortable and just knowing that, you know, a lot of that does contribute to our state of our health. And then how to use what we've gone through to really um, transcend that in a way that's sustainable and you know, um, continues to help us grow and thrive. And it's not something that to be ashamed of or to run from, but really it can be a gift. Mm -hmm. And she, just, she has that open heart and that ability to listen really well and incorporate all of that into her healing modalities. I think the best thing is um, the how how um, how easy. Well, I don't want to say easy. That it's doable, you know, to to live a life and to eat foods that support your health. Uh, it's possible, you know. Uh, the 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 process. You feel like it's possible. Like I can do this without killing myself and, and without changing my life completely, I can still do great things for myself. I think that's the, the most important thing for me that um, you buy into this idea, but you also have the support that makes you feel that I can do this and still live my life. So first of all, I did Panchakarma not too long ago. And I'm feeling amazing still. <laughs> uh, it's also um, slowly accumulating uh, some habits that make it easier to keep going. Uh, and the other important thing is uh, I definitely started listening more to my body uh, because like in Panchakarma with Hillary, it's not just about food and what you eat and what you don't eat. Uh, she made it clear that it was also important to take care of your overall well-being, to get uh, rest and not, not stress over things. So it makes you check in with your body often. How are you feeling? Would you like to lie down? Are you hungry? Do you want to take a bath? And it just, it, it's a small change, but you can feel it in your everyday life. And uh, you don't, I, I don't get burned out as often as before because I'm able to catch it 
when it's just starting and, and let myself rest or uh, change what I'm doing. And so overall, uh, it keeps me on a, um, it's more level, you know, it's not like going up and then crashing down. It's more level. To, to understand that you can sleep through the night and wake up with energy and feel light and bright. Um, that is a feeling that I've been able to taste for over the past year or so. And it's something that I continue to, to work towards, which um, to know that that's um, doable is, is really, really valuable. Let's see, paying attention to my digestive system and to understand that uh, um, the, the digestive fire. So I used to have smoothies every morning, which I, I really, I did enjoy and I still do at times. Um, but Hillary uh, put the visual in my mind that my digestion is, is like a campfire. And after we've slept for however many hours and haven't eaten, um, maybe putting something cold and wet on the campfire is is not exactly going to help stoke it and and fire it up for the day uh, and that's something that has incredibly helped uh just my digestive system and regularity um and in turn i've seen um I'm, again not perfect but it's I, i've had a huge improvement in my my skin texture um with my anxiety and with uh, my sleep, which that's, I think that's all due to uh, the practice. My, I'm really, really happy and uh, with my morning routine. That was something that I, I, I knew that people could have morning routines, of course, but to fine tune one to suit my needs and uh, my values and my lifestyle um, has been absolutely amazing. To to wake up with energy, to journal, take time for myself, to move a little bit, to have um, something warm and nourishing in the morning, to um, have a little bit of a bigger breakfast, um, and then... Uh, a big, the biggest meal is lunch and then to have a light dinner. Um, I have seen a tremendous improvement in my digestion, my regularity, uh, my energy levels throughout the day. Um, so those, those micro rituals um, have really made a difference. I would also say just my relationship with food, my uh, relationship with sleep, my understanding um, of my body and, and listening to it has really increased since I've put in these small, simple rituals, but the, the consistency and the um, effects of it long-term, I'm really starting to, I'm, I'm really seeing, which is very thankful for that. Applying the Ayurvedic principles to my daily life definitely has helped my nervous system. Um, I feel a lot calmer, a lot more gentle with myself, um, less judgmental of myself. And I feel like when I, when my nervous system is regulated, everything else in my life improves from my health to my relationships to my life purpose. So I, I would say that definitely has been the biggest benefit and I have been able to apply it to my daily life. I would, I would definitely encourage if you're on the fence to, to do it or to even just have a, a phone consultation just to connect and experience, um, experience what you could be getting out of your uh, lifestyle. I think to have someone to walk with you, to look at your daily choices with complete safety, light happiness, and to know that it's not a light switch, to know that this is a practice, um, 
it's it's tremendously valuable to have a guide to look at those choices, uh, to have someone who has your back, who who listens and can um, provide perspective that maybe you can't get elsewhere. Um, so I would I would highly recommend it. I think you know I um, have definitely seen a reduction in my anxiety. I've seen an improvement in my sleep. I've seen an improvement in my skin texture and my hair and, and how I am in touch with my, my body and my systems. Um, it's, it's definitely a, a fantastic practice um, and lifestyle to uh, work with Hillary and uh, use Ayurvedic uh, medicine to to treat your well-being. I really, it's so sweet. Every time I interview someone, I'm just like filled with the love that you have for Hillary and I feel it and I just, I, I know, I, I know. So It's just so sweet. Like, I know, you know but she's I, so special. Yeah, she's so special. <laughs>